Did you guys hear about this one over there at the James River Church? They're just bragging about all the people they healed. And don't worry, folks. He about to explain in detail his miracle. And uh, I assure you, I promise, after he gets done claiming this happened, he's going to show video evidence, right? Because obviously, if you're healing motherfuckers, you would have a cell phone around you somewhere to record this. You could prove to everybody the glory of God and that you have magic powers to heal sick motherfuckers, right? Isn't that what's going to happen? Don't hold your breath, folks. People come to me and they'll have some sort of a problem, a disease. And they'll say, all right, do you know of anyone who's ever been healed of this before? That's our starting place. Because if we have a testimony, then a legal precedent has been set. No, no, wrong. Some dipshit lying about something is in no way a legal precedent. The fuck you talk about? And also like a... Why would you need a legal precedent to heal people? Why would somebody have to be healed before in the exact same exact way before you could heal somebody in that exact same way in the future? No logic whatsoever. Please continue, sir. Uh, It was a a carpenter and he had, he he just had problems with his back because he had broken his leg as a kid. He came and he said, my leg that was broken, when it healed, it grew past the other one. Cool, I'm gonna break my legs, be taller. And he said, have you ever seen that done, healed before? Nope. God can't heal that. God can heal everything else, but not your broken leg, dude. God's all powerful, but he ain't that all powerful. What is he asking? He said, is there a legal precedent? And uh, so I thought for a moment, thought, thought, I went, yes, I have. Yes. And a pastor friend that was in an accident, skiing accident, and when they put him back together, they had too many parts, and he had a leg that was too long. And, and, uh, (laughs) And so we were talking in an Italian <laughs> restaurant. I said, hey, turn the chair aside. So he turned the chair aside and uh, held out his legs in the restaurant, you know, and commanded oh, okay. the long leg to shrink and it shrank. And there were he went back to the therapist. Oh, Everything yeah. was fine. Yeah, no big deal. So I'm sitting there with this, this guy's telling me a story. He says, you ever have seen this before? I said, yeah. I said, I have seen it. Uh-huh. I said, sit down. Let's sit down. Sit down now. So I'm holding his leg up and I just, I thought he wanted it to shrink and I thought, Wait a, minute, wait a minute, you did this before without a camera, and then you're doing it again, and then you still didn't think to turn a camera on? Mm, I'm starting, just starting, to think you might be bullshit. People like to be taller. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So I, I, I spoke to the leg that was, that was normal, had no issues, and I commanded it to grow, and it actually grew out even with the other one. And he stood up, he was completely healed, and of uh-huh. course we rejoiced and celebrated. And I, I went home going, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, God, for allowing me to come with this lie that's going to allow me to grift all these idiot sons of bitches out of money. Yeah, we're going to eat good tonight here at Grifter Headquarters. And uh, at the same exact event, folks, where they're pronouncing all these miracles that done happen, is another woman who shall make you believeth. All of us about to be converted by her incontrovertible testimony. Let's have a look. So I had three toes that were amputated in a, in a terrible accident. I heard the word for creative miracles, and I thought, well, I certainly have a creative miracle that I might need. Uh-huh. I need three toes to grow back. Totally. The person next to me said, do you want new toes? Definitely. I and do. I was like, well, sure. Hell yeah. All the women got down, and they prayed over my foot and I decided to take my shoe off to see what was okay all these women around you tons of people saw this miracle not a single cell phone is that what you're telling me because like uh I'm sitting here with 10 cats and they got five phones amongst them just the fucking cats so uh calling bullshit please continue it's happening when he said let's see the progress or if anything's happened and when I did I had to grab the person next to me and say do you see what I see Uh uh-huh and I saw three toes show us that were forming, uh-huh. and now there's length to them. Okay. Tonight, Take I can off. stand on my tippy toes. Really? Listen, do you understand? I, I can do. stand on tippy toes. Uh-huh. No, I couldn't do that because I didn't have toes to tippy on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Woo! come on, let's bless the Lord. Yeah, let's He's bless Jehovah the Lord. Rapha. That totally happened. Woo! Lord, we praise you. We praise you for these lives from this insane person not gonna show you any video though not gonna ask her to take her shoes off not gonna provide any evidence in any way just clap and clap and smile everybody you're not incredibly fucking stupid and gullible and uh then some of you out there actually made a website for this lady called showmethetoes.com and uh i can them bitch show me the toes where your toes at 
I gotta see the toes or I ain't gonna believe it. Somehow, I don't think this uh, website's gonna get any traction whatsoever. But Godspeed to your website. True.